Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we have a humble bundle of interest to game developers. And unlike kind of a lot of recent bundles, this one is actually really, really good. Humble's been doing a lot of repeats or meh bundles lately, but this one, uh, some of these assets have been featured in previous bundles, but this is the first time I've seen a bundle like this, and I'm a big fan of the art style we're dealing with here. What we're looking here is the best of Polygon game dev assets. And this one works regardless to what engine you're working with. So if you're working with Unreal, Unity, the great news is you actually get it in the those formats. But if you're also working in like just Blender or for content creation or the Godot game engine or pick a, pick a game engine, these will work with it. As long as it supports basically FBX importing, you are good to go. So this is a collection of uh, model packs from Stinty Studios. They're all in the same art style. We're going to take a look at a couple of them in just a second. And if you don't know how this works at this point in time, Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff. In this case, 3D model packs around a common theme, uh, game dev assets. Uh, you decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to support Game From Scratch. Organized into tiers, um, you buy a higher dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below it. Uh, and the first tier, for $1, you get three packs. Now, they're all the cheapest packs. These are all 10 bucks a piece. So for a buck, you get $30 worth of assets. Not a bad deal. You get the Polygon Explorer, the Polygon Snow, and the Polygon Spy Pack. You click any one of these, by the way, you can drill down and get more details of what kind of assets you're getting here. So you're getting a guy and a girl, a car, and a bunch of guns in this pack, for example. Uh, so that is uh, the, the first tier there. And we jump up to the next tier for us. This jumps up quite a bit. So $22 US. Basically, you're going to buy the either the $1 tier or the full tier. This one just doesn't make any sense. But you're getting three more packs there. Mini Fantasy, Fantasy Rivals, and Prototype. Again, literally nobody is going to buy that tier. If anything, you are going to buy this tier or the $1 tier. So at the full tier, that's $25 USD or $31.76 in Canuck money. Here you're now getting the Polygon City Zombie Pack, which by the way, these packs are gigantic. I'll show you a couple of them in action in just a second. The Polygon City Characters Pack, the Polygon Fantasy Characters Pack, the Polygon Office Pack, the Pirates Pack, uh, the Polygon Town Pack, Farm Pack, Sci-Fi Space Pack, Icons Pack, Mini, Mini Fantasy Characters Pack, Mini uh, Fantasy Pack, uh, and then Fantasy Rivals, uh, and then we're into the, the other tiers that we already discussed. I really hate the way the new site is laid out, but hands down, one of the best uh, asset packs we've seen in quite a while. Cinti's stuff is really, really good. And the cool thing here is they have so many packs that you can actually fully source your art from them. They will have something to work in your style if you wish. Now, as always, I buy these bundles to let you know what you're going to get. In this case, you're getting straight up downloads. Now, you're going to notice for each one of these, you have a download version and a source files version. A source files version is basically the raw version, so the textures and the uh, FBX files and so on that were used to create them. And then these versions over here are the, um, uh, the, the, the game engine ready versions. I'll show you what I mean. So here, we'll go ahead and we'll download the Knights and the... Um, so the source and the downloads, nice thing you're going to find with them is the download speeds from Humble are both quite nice. So those were 50 and 80 megabyte files, and they're both downloaded now. So pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and download, uh, let's say, what other one will we grab? Sci-Fi City. All right, so we're going to download the source files for Sci-Fi City. Yeah, we'll grab that one as well. So those are coming down. Let's go take a look at what we got here. So here are the Polygon Night ones I pulled down. Uh, this one is the source files I believe we are dealing with here. All right, so let's open that guy up and take a look inside. So here you're going to see, yeah, that's source files. You go here, you're going to see uh, you get FBX and OBJ formats of each one, plus the uh, textures. They generally share a common texture pack across all of their models. The texturing is normally very simple, by the way. So here you can see some swappable textures. So you can swap those in for the other assets and uh, have multiple different looks on the same shape. So here you see in the character files, FBX characters, so uh, the Knigget and so on. Now with the same asset, if we head on back over here, we're going to see the other version I downloaded is ready to go in a particular game engine. So you can see here, we'll open it up. This is one, if you're using Unity or Unreal, this is the one you're going to want to go ahead and download. And you can see here, it's available as a Unity package or as a zip file that's ready to drop into an Unreal Engine project. Another thing you probably want to be aware of, I'm going to show you this guy in action in just a second, but do be aware of the licensing terms. They're pretty liberal in what they let you do, uh, but one thing you need to know of is this is for a single seat only. So if you've got a team of like six artists working on your game, you're going to need six licenses. Just that's the only real potential hang up here. Otherwise, the licensing for this is pretty straightforward. Uh, it does give you commercial rights and so on. Uh, so you drip, um, drill through there. You can see the full license agreement right there, but do be aware this is for one seat only. 
Okay, so as I mentioned, uh, it does come with the Unity and Unreal Engine ready to go version. And now let's go take a look at the one that I already opened up here. So this here is the demo scene for the night pack. You can get an idea of what you get in one of these packs. It's prefabbed assets, all ready to drag and drop into the world. Everything you need to create the castles and so on. Uh, that you are seeing right here. Now, interestingly enough, where are the Knigets? They gotta be down here somewhere, probably down here in the village. Uh, so it's a really, it, it's a low polygon art style, but it's a very nice one. Uh, everything, again, is very modular in nature. Uh, so you can uh, create very evolved setups using this system. Not actually finding any of the knights, but not a big deal. So you get an idea. That is what one of the packs looks like. You're going to see here, again, a number of models are set up. Again, since you are using um, the Unity import here, you're getting presets. So since I can't find a character myself, let me just go ahead and drop one into the world. And there you see right there, they are set up uh, for animation, but not animated at this point in time. I believe there are full animations in there if you want to go through and deal with all of that. Uh, but everything here is prefabbed, textured, ready to go, ready to drop in. Uh, it's a very cool, solid texture pack. They all look very high quality. So if you go across all the various different packs that are available here, you're going to find uh, they're, again, a very consistency to the art style. And where this is really nice, even if you're not using them as yourselves in the game, because Cinti assets really stand out as Cinti assets. So your game could look very asset flippy in a hurry because, you know, a lot of other games could potentially have the same art style. But if you are prototyping, these kind of are some really great and um, comprehensive assets around a common genre. It's hard to come up with a nicer prototyping sorry, prototyping set that you're going to find with the Cinti collection. So this is a great bundle on the whole. One of the best I've seen in a long time. It's very straightforward. You're either going to want it or not. And then if you're looking at it, you're either going to buy the full tier thing at 25 bucks to get a number of different packs, which works out to uh, 700. Oh no, that's what they've raised. So the bundle is worth, where's the bundle value? I never know with their site anymore. Uh, it's $668 Canadian. So about $600 US worth of assets there. And that literally is the case. And again, uh, there is good continuity between their various different assets. So if you want to add more, they have a ton on the asset stores for both their their own asset store, the Uni and Unreal Engine asset stores. And also do keep in mind, since you're getting these in FBX, OBJ format and so on, getting these imported into a Godot game engine or Flax or whatever game engine you're choosing to use, no problem at all. So this isn't limited to just Unity or Unreal Engine. This is for anybody looking for 3D assets. These packs are great. I highly recommend Cinti. I love them, especially if you, again, are looking for some just high quality artwork to prototype your game with great choice definitely a great choice and again they have a ton of other packs out there so if you want to expand it and you don't have artistic ability you can generally buy off the shelf whatever you need and there's a pretty good collection of things here again cities city characters zombies uh, fantasy characters office environments um, towns uh, pirates farms sci-fi uh, and then there are mini versions of things, prototyping stuff for, you know, again, if you are actually prototyping, the prototype pack could be particularly quite useful for you. Just basically placeholders and uh, little messages to yourself and, and so on and so forth. A couple other character kits and so on. Definitely some great things in here, plus an icon pack as well in that Cinti style. Uh, you know if you want it or not at this point in time, I think. But again, highly recommend these packs. They're just filled with content of a very consistent art quality uh, that I, I happen to appreciate. So let me know what you think of this bundle in general. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.